now move into combinations involving the techniques that have been learned series one, series two in this course. We're now going to put together the punching, the blade, the back fist, the elbows, the kicks and all its various configurations, sweeps, the grabs into a meaningful format in a situation against an opponent coming at us with different types of techniques. Attacking, moving to the rear, moving in. Most basically, starting off, defense against the punch. The opponent throws a straightforward punch. We block, yeah, kick, using the extension of the leg. First combination, block, hit. As we mentioned before in the blocking sequences, as soon as you block, you have to move either into grab, breaking balance, or hitting the opponent. The opponent comes in with a situation of two techniques. One, two, forward, one, two, ear, 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 three, four. That situation involved the use of a side-side block, a back fist, and spinning kick. Punch one came in, blocking, full blade of the arm block. Punch two came in, back kick, back kick, back fist all in fluid action, following into the opponent, advancing with every punch and kick. The idea of combination techniques in the counter is to drive the opponent back, striking all the way in, commanding position. If we have an opponent coming in with an overhead blade, coming in for our collarbone, the blow comes in, deflecting blood, ew, ew, honey, in that manner. What we did here was to use the circular block. Block, deflect, grab, control. Drop down on the back of the neck, holding the opponent. Eel! Knee strike. And if knee is there, another. Eel! Strike to the back of the neck. Our opponent reaches to grab for our chest. Deflect. Eel! Honey! Eel! Maneuver. Again, he grabs for our chest. We maneuver by breaking his grip. One, Eel. two, Eel. three. There are many possibilities to each technique, and you want to learn how to maneuver within the framework of each of these techniques in different ways, because no situation is ever going to be the same. Going back to basics, the opponent punches. The technique of the back kick versus the length of the arm. My opponent extends his arm towards us. My kick is longer than his arm. I can reach him. He can't reach me. The opponent comes in to grab for my throat. Deflect. Techniques. The opponent grabs my chest. I block. Yeah. If you need to go further than that, you can go for takedown. The opponent throws a roundhouse kick. Block with the knee. Yeah. 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 The opponent throws a straightforward punch. <laughs> the heel of the foot. And we deflect as he throws it. Combination striking can take on configurations other than just lineal straight in movement. Favorite techniques from the martial arts systems, uh, particularly the Okinawan style, include reverse back fist as you learned in the basic exercises before. But the intricacy of these movements and the ability to strike from these different angles confuses an opponent on an attack pattern. When you attack in on combinations or counterattack against the, uh, an adversary, you want to come in with confusing arrays of techniques. One could be back fist, kick, back fist, two, Confusing the opponent between back fist high, back kick low, 
He's looking again high or he's going to catch the strike and then coming in low again. That's the idea. Now, if I had an opponent attacking against me, we also have to learn how to block in combination. My opponent gives that back rest. Hey, one, two, block. Yeah! And strike the groin. He's back to us. Once again, same technique. You learn to block side to side. Block one, block two, block three. Yeah, yeah. With the instep or shin coming for the groin. You don't want to get caught reversing in with your back to your opponent. Situation now, opponent to the rear. He's attacking, throwing a punch at my rear. Back kick again, back kick again, back fist. That back fist and back kick come in very handy in those configurations. My opponent is throwing a hammer blow to the side of my head. Block, yeah, elbow, yeah, elbow, yeah. Take the forward foot down, yeah, strike. The heel of the foot. Cut. Again. That hammer blow, we block, cut inside, elbow, elbow. Hit the forward leg because he's been neutralized, which means hitting his leg, it won't be too hard to take him over. He's already half down. The opponent is coming at me with his elbow. Deflect, strike rich hand. Heel, strike with the blade. Heel, with the knee. Inside take down again. Heel. Strike. The attack pattern of attacking your opponent using the blades of your hands. Again, it's kind of a helicoptering effect. You're coming in, one, two, three, for the knee. You have his attention high. If he doesn't block one, two's gonna hit him. Yeah. And back in with the back kick. Continuing to flow in. 